now it's time to make a custom piston. We could probably just cut this down and make it work, um, but I want to try and make my own from scratch. I'm basically going to mimic the, uh, the stock design. And the only difference, I might add a second O-ring, but I have plenty of stock in case I want to try it again. Um, so essentially, I'm going to take the O-ring off here. I have a second O-ring for the front, so this design has two O-rings. Instead of using the, the two O-rings right away, I'll try to do a single O-ring design to copy the stock. Um, obviously, you can see the size difference there. And I'll make a little spring perch. Although this is a stock one, this one is steel, this one is aluminum, this one is from the three quarter inch GSX, this one is from the front wheel drive GSX, and they are also different. So now we've actually gone up to seven eighths, which may be too much, so we might end up having to get another one of these 13 sixteenths to get back to the butter zone. But it was still a fun project, great to learn how to do this kind of stuff on the lathe and see what kind of operations we can do. So let's make a piston. All right, we're just getting our center set up here and we're gonna put in our new piston and then we're gonna bore out the center piece to kind of match the profile as best we can right here. All right, so taking a quick look, here we have the stock uh, stock replacement cylinder. Now this is going to be the three quarter inch, which again is too small. Um, so we decided to upgrade to this one, which is 13 sixteenths, which helped but didn't help enough. We might revert back to this depending on how our clutch feels after this. And then we have this custom one that we made. Now this, we ended up buying a 7 eighths inch one, which obviously is way too long. Um, it's also made out of steel, which I wasn't sure how the response would feel on that. And it wouldn't really fit inside the slave cylinder very well, considering it takes up like mm, pretty much all the length. So you wouldn't really be able to get the full stroke that you wanted. So we made our own and then we actually took the seals off this. So we took this end dimension from the one that we have here. Um, we actually have the stock one that we matched. So we used the stock spring. Uh, this one's a little bit stiffer, I believe, than this other stock spring that we have, which is longer, so it gives it preload, but then it also needs the snap ring, which is really annoying to make it work. Um, so that is basically the diameter difference. So again, we can see stock to front wheel drive, and then stock to custom. So that should give us a huge amount of increased uh, pressure that we can generate at the pedal and again kind of loosen up a little bit of that excessive effort that we're going to have especially now that we have this brand new ACT clutch. So this spring fits perfectly on this new one that we just made on the lathe. We have the kind of taper cut in here and it was really hard to get the bits. I don't have the best 
uh, bits that actually fit inside such a small bore. So we were able to taper most of it and then we sort of used the drill bit to try and round off that inside and uh, as best we could, we have this rod that does fit inside there and doesn't really bind or anything. So that should work. Um, we can see there's a little ring right there where it makes contact. But we'll put a little bit of grease in there and hopefully that'll stop it from smushing around. And so all we should need to do is just drop this in and then we need to, let's lube up the seal a little bit. And we can hear the air pressure. And so we get pretty good travel on this. Now the real test of course is going to be putting it in the car and seeing if everything fits. Um, which of course I won't really know until, uh, until we start driving and knowing that it doesn't leak and cause us any issues. So we got to tighten up these fittings. Uh, but other than that, that completes the slave cylinder, the custom slave cylinder. Once the rest of the transmission's back together, then we can bolt this along with the engine and everything back. And we got a lot of work to do, but here we go. Totally matter. And I believe, ow, fucking splinter under the fingernail, you fucking dick, that went far in there. That is like a full, that went halfway up the fingernail. Fuck, that hurt. That was a method of torture. God damn it, I need to pull that out. Um, 